All right now, hey Reggie man, pull me another drink now. Hello, beautiful ladies, how y'all doing out there? Welcome back to the Sean Blazing to Lounge. I'm just sitting out here on the patio. I received some information. I don't know if it's true or not, but people talking in the streets that Lil Scrappy got caught cheating on Bambi with Rashida. Now you never know what the truth is when it comes to this love and hip hop madness. But I will tell y'all this: that this man got married all for the show people having babies for reality tv people starting up relationships with people that they barely know just so they can stay on tv and it's very very sad so many reality tv stars gotta get in line so they can be on the next season or whatever show they own i heard kenya moore married some dude on the real housewives of atlanta that she barely even knew had his baby just so she can have a storyline on the show y'all this is some serious serious business and what they saying in the street is that little scrappy never even knew bambi he hooked up with her on the set of love and hip-hop and they figured well hell we keep on getting these checks we won't keep on getting this money so we might as well get married and keep it going for as long as we possibly can because his rap career is already over with she ain't never had no career so by them being together they making more money than they ever did when they was apart but the thing is Lil Scrappy and Rashidi been cool for a long time when he was first coming up in the game and he always had a thing for Rashida now I know y'all thinking that's his home girl and he would never do that but it's plenty of brothers out there talking about they got a home girl but as soon as they get the opportunity they gonna take it upon themselves to get whatever they can get out that sister maybe a little bit of this maybe a little bit of that maybe a little bit on the front end a little bit on the back end y'all know exactly what I'm talking about and since Rashida was having problems with Kirk, she figured, hell, who else can I use to make him jealous? She didn't want to use somebody that Kirk didn't know. She figured, well, hell, a little scrappy, a little freak. They got scrapping in the bedroom. Erica Dixon, she knew all about it, but the reason why she ain't say nothing is because her face woke up because her boyfriend be beating on her allegedly. Now, this is all of all of the news. I haven't seen it for myself that Lil Scrappy was messing around with Rashida, but they really do have a closer relationship than Lil Scrappy ever had with Bambi because he just met this woman. And like I told y'all, the only reason why they dealing with each other is for reality TV. They trying to be on love and hip hop until season 99 and then when that happened they might just have another baby so they can keep being on the damn show they plan on retiring love and hip-hop they got a pension they putting a little bit of money in the savings account that's all they really got going for themselves baby so they might as well get married and have babies to keep the show going for all you ladies listening, I want to let you know that I really, really do appreciate you and everything that you've done for me. If you ever donated to the channel, I want to let you know personally that I really do appreciate you. And I need y'all to subscribe, hit the like button and the notification button, baby. But Lil Scrappy, he's a good brother. He started rapping with Lil John and the Eastside Boy. Now, out of all the brothers in the A-Town that could have got a record deal, they decided to give it to Lil Scrappy because he was scrapping in the projects for chicken bones. He be scrapping with crackheads for leftover toast. This brother will whoop somebody ass for less than nothing. So they figured they needed somebody like him on their team because Lil John ain't never really been from the streets. He graduated from Harvard. Have y'all ever seen his high school pictures? Wasn't nothing gangster about Lil John And them East Side boys, they was a couple of mechanics. So the only way they can solidify their street creds is by having somebody like Lil Scrappy on their team. Now, love and hip hop is a family package. If you get on the show, you better try to get everybody in your family on the show because they ain't gonna let you live with them love and hip hop checks if you ain't spreading the wealth. So instead of giving his mama some money Lil Scrappy found a way to get up on the show just like the other young lady that was on the show Rashida got her mama her uncles her cousins all her kids on the show everybody getting a check I ain't mad at these people for getting a bag but I'm just disgusted by the things they do to maintain their situation on the show I'm out here sitting on this patio airplanes going by I'm trying to keep my cool but anyway 
People will do just about anything to stay on their regular job. Wherever you working at right now, you looking forward to season two. And they might not keep you for the next season. If you work at McDonald's, you are part of the McDonald's show. You got to play your role, play your character, and hopefully you in good graces with the people that's cutting your check so you can come back for next season. I don't give a damn where you work. You work at Kinko's. The name of your show is the Kinko Show. If you work at a hair salon, a barber shop, oh, you own the cast. It might not be no cameras in there, but you got to put up an act. The same way Lil Scrappy, Bambi, Rashida, and all them people on reality TV. It's a job. So this brother, he knew that he would get cut if he didn't do something interesting to keep the show alive. If Lil Scrappy was still trying to rap, had on a bandana with some saggy pants, shirt off, belly titties, flapping in the wind, they would have canceled him a long time ago. But since he met this young lady and they got married and they just had a baby, he at least going to be on there for two more seasons. But according to the information I received, I don't know how true it is. This is all alleged information. Hold on, y'all. I can't even focus no more. Free Rain donated four ninety nine to the Sean Blazington Lounge. She said, "Boss, you the man, man." Oh, Free Rain, I got so much love for you, and best believe I'm gonna premiere that video that I did for you before we get up out of here. But first, I wanted to tell the people about Lil Scr Lil Scrappy, Rashida, and Bambi, and Jocelyn Hernandez, and all them people on Love and Hip Hop ain't no good. But if you watch the show. You know that I'm telling y'all nothing but the truth. Hold on. Let me get another sip of this drink. And uh, for everybody listening, now's the time to leave a donation. We rather have the kind of money that fold. But if it jingle, I'm going to give it to a player. Hold on. Mm. Lord have mercy. Lil Scrappy ain't had a hit song since 2002, y'all. Y'all wonder how this brother surviving? He's surviving off of love and hip hop. That's all he got. He willing to die for that show. He got love and hip hop tattooed on his ass. He willing to go to war for the show. He willing to get married, have babies, whatever it takes to stay in the spotlight. Because he know damn well if he released a song tomorrow, it ain't going to sell two copies, y'all. It's hard out here for rappers, especially if you already had a career. Ain't no retirement plan with rapping. Y'all think... Lil Scrappy gonna be in the Hip Hop Hall of Fame? I doubt if that's the case, but if he hook up with Rashida and they have a baby, well, whoa, whoa, they might be able to do their own spinoff show, especially now that I know and you know that it's a possibility that Lil Scrappy was messing around with the homie. But even if he was messing with Rashida, what's the big deal? She used to be cute. I don't know about now. Maybe they found a time machine somewhere. They went back and gave her back her good looks. Kirk don't give a damn, that's for sure. He be waiting for Rashida to leave home so he can do his own damn thing. But for all the men and women of the Blazer Gang community, you have to understand if you're going to be in a relationship with somebody, you got to be able to navigate through the BS. Some of y'all in relationships with people and you taking the BS as it come. You got doo doo stains all on your shirt. They just flinging crap in your direction and you just taking it. You got to know how to dodge and move to the side you got to treat a relationship like boxing some of y'all be getting beat up by love you better put on some boxing glove get on some sparring gear and get your practice on because people gonna do to you what you allow them to do so sometimes you got to cut the shit just to keep it moving baby now the reason why i said that is because little scrappy he been through plenty of things with his baby mama erica he knew that she was cheating and he knew since her last name was Dixon, somebody was giving her the D. When your last name Dixon, it's a possibility that you're really, really into men. And that just so happened to be the case with Erica. And come to find out her mama was on that blow. So Lil Scrappy was very weary of that young lady. But he still dealt with her because she was a chocolate sister with high cheekbones. And not only did she have high cheekbones on her face, but them cheekbones in her pants ain't that bad neither. But that's Negro here nor there. For all you ladies out there, y'all gonna have to quit treating these men like they nothing. Treat a man with some respect and you'll get some respect back, baby.
And if you treat a man with some respect and he don't give you no respect, then you got every right to do something strange for a little piece of change. Get money from that hoe. For all the Blazer brothers out there listening, y'all gonna have to stop being simps. Y'all gonna have to stop being Mr. Goody Two Shoes. You're gonna have to be an asshole every now and then. I know you don't want to do it, but you're gonna have to do it. That's the only way you're gonna be able to survive. And the reason why I'm talking like this is because little Scrappy, if you want a job, get a job. You ain't gotta be sacrificing your life to be on TV, brother. I know you love the fame and the attention and so many people look up to you and expect for you to be the richest man in the world. But the truth is, little Scrappy, your career been done a long time ago, brother. You hanging on by a thread. If Mona Scott wake up in the morning and she cramping real bad and decides she want to get rid of little Scrappy, oh, best believe she can do that, pimp. It don't matter who you marry. It don't matter who you let have your baby. Your baby can get Kylie Red pregnant. You can mess around, get Tokyo Vanity pregnant. You could mess around and get Mimi pregnant. I don't think she going to let you do it, but you can try. It don't matter what you do, brother. These people have power over you. You on TV. Ain't nothing you can do or say. We all know who you is. I dare you to try to slap somebody. You ain't going to be able to hide for too long. It's going to be them babies in the projects that's going to rat you out. Mama, they go little scrappy. You can't do nothing, dog. So why you sitting up here? entertaining the masses you need to figure out what you're gonna do when it's all done and over with dog maybe you should start writing some more raps so by the time love and hip-hop is finished you got a nice little 16 that you can go up to the radio station and rap for the people ain't like we're gonna be listening but hey it's a shot in the dark and speaking of a shot in the dark have you ever been on a blind date you get her back to your house you so drunk, you want to make love, but the truth is, you was never with nobody in the first place. You looking in the mirror crying like Janet Jackson. You done turned into Bushwick Bill from the Ghetto Boys, your mind playing tricks on you. But that's Negro here nor there. Hold on, let me get another sip of this Hennessy, y'all. Now, I know the title of this video sounds ridiculous, but I ain't telling y'all this actually happened. I'm telling y'all what I heard. I was at the barbershop in the ATL and a couple of brothers was talking. And then this one dude came in and he was sweating. His T-shirt was all ripped up and everybody was asking him what was wrong. And even my barber stopped. He stopped cutting my head because he was trying to see what the heck was going on. And then the man said, Bambi just called a little scrappy creeping with Rashida and everybody started crying in the barbershop and I'm trying to figure out what's going on why y'all crying I'm passing out napkins to these grown men because they so sad that Bambi called little scrappy creeping with Rashida and the way they explained it to me that Rashida name used to be Rashad now I don't know how true this is this is all alleged information but I swear for my pinky toe that I had when I was Halloween shopping that they said that Rashida used to be Rashad and everybody was disappointed and a little scrappy for even swinging that way. Cause you can look at Kurt and tell that he may want to be with a Rashad, but that's Negro here nor there. That's his own personal business. Y'all hold on. Let me get another drink. Cause I swear it's getting hot up in the Sean Bladenton lounge. I'm spilling all this Hennessy. It's starting to feel like I got a hot glass of tea. But yeah, the girl Bambi, Bambi, shoot, the last time I checked, Bambi was a boy. That wasn't no female deer. Shoot, Bambi was a little boy that grown into a man, according to the cartoon. So if she decided to call herself Bambi, she must know something that we don't know. She looking stronger than Scrappy. She look like she can whoop Scrappy's ass gonna have to call him little sissy by the time she get done with him she taller than he is her jawline stronger than his she got a better hairline her shoulders bigger than his and scrappy a big dude so if bambi is a grown buck and rashida used to be rashad then it's looking like little scrappy a little fruity shoot they gonna wind up calling him little richard a little booty, maybe. Queen D in the building. I see y'all in that chat. But once again, let me remind y'all that this video ain't about you, baby. You all in the comment section posted up, got on your little suit, 
you don't went in the closet, pulled out some high heels like you going out for the night. But the truth is, baby, this video ain't about you. This is about Lil Scrappy. It's about Bambi and Rashida, a.k.a. Rashad. And I swear, when them brothers came up in the barbershop talking about Scrappy messing around with Rashida, a lot of people in the A-Town was disappointed because Scrappy is known to be a real dude around there. And Scrappy Mama, she's a real woman. Now, y'all can say what y'all want to say about me. But Mama D, look, she ain't that bad looking to be that old. I'm just keeping it real with y'all. You can say what you want to say about Mama D. But Mama D ain't ugly. So, that's just my personal opinion. You can call me nasty. Matter of fact, I'm about to go to timeout. I'm over here sitting with my head down in the corner. I keep looking back at the computer screen to see if y'all still there. I know I'm wrong, but I'm just trying to be honest with y'all. Mama D ain't that bad looking, y'all. To be 155 years old, she look damn good. She look like a skinnier version of Patti LaBelle. Shoot, if Wesley Snipes' mama revealed herself, I swear for Lord it'd be Mama D. But back to what I was saying about Erica Dixon and her whole family tree, a bunch of women with the last name Dixon. Now, how can you take her seriously? You know what she about. The last name says it all. Shoot, you pull out your jam and she ain't even surprised. She's like, hmm, must be alive. She started pulling out a guitar and playing it all over your testicles. But if y'all want more information about what's going on with Lil Scrappy, Rashida, and Bambi, the first thing you're going to have to do is subscribe to the channel, hit that notification button, and hit that like button. Now, there's one more thing I want to do before I get out of here because we in the Sean Blazington Lounge and this is where it really goes down. I made a song for my sister Free Rain. Now, I can make a song for anybody. All you need to do, I know this going to turn a lot of y'all off, but all you need to do, send me $50 in that chat right there. That little dollar sign next to that little smiley face by where you leave the comments at. Send me $50 right there. I do a song for you. Whoever you want me to do the song for, you in a relationship with somebody, you really love him and you want to express your love, tell me about it. Send me some pictures. I do a song and it's going to come out sounding real good. A song and a video. And I put it up on the channel. And if you don't believe me, I'm about to play a song that I did for free reign right now. I want y'all to enjoy y'all night. GMB Blazer Gang, I'm about to get up out of here. But before I go for $50. You can get a song just like this right here or just like this right there. Hold on. I'm about to play the song for y'all. Let me tell Reggie, turn that. Tell them to quit playing the band, Reggie. Yeah, we about to get out of here. You about to play that free rain? Yeah, I'm about to play that free rain song, dog. All right. Hold on. Let me grab my cane, y'all. All right. I'm about to play this song and I'm going to holler at y'all later, okay? Blazer Gang. And if you want a song like this, send me $50. I'll do the song for you and the video, baby. All right. Here we go now. Oh shit, excuse my language. Ooh, baby, let it rain. Let it rain all on me. Let it rain. Baby, let it rain. Let it rain. Where the hell is she rain? Where she rain? Girl, I see you with your girdle on. It's okay. It's okay. It's free rain. Girl, do what you want. Cause it's your world, girl. Do what you want, because you're. You know I love you, baby. Do what you want, because it's your world, girl. Do what you want, because you're. You know I love you, baby. You do what you want, cause you're my girl, my world, my everything. I love you, baby. And you are such a sexy thing. I wanted you to be mine And I don't care How you wear your hair, girl Oh, free rain Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho Sexy lunch lady Sexy lunch lady Sexy lunch lady With that hair net on Do what you want Because it's your world Girl, do what you want Because you're You know I love your free rain Do what you want Cause it's your world, girl, do what you want Because you're, you know I love your free brain Let it 
let it rain, baby. Where the hell did G rain? I hope that you know that I love you, baby. I always think about you, girl. Booba on deck, and it is such a jiggly thing. You funky and you chunky, girl. All that I know is that I love me some free rain. She is a freak, and she my pussy, she my pussy, baby. Do what you want, because it's your world, girl. Do what you want, because you You know I love you, big man. Do what you want, because it's your world, girl. Do what you want, because you You know I love you, big man. Put your spandex, put your spandex on. Put your leggings and your jeggings on And put your girdle on Put your girdle on Put your girdle on Put your girdle on, baby Put your girdle on Put your girdle on Put your girdle Put your girdle, baby Put your girdle on Put your girdle on Put your girdle Your girdle Girdle, baby Put your girdle